Hey, it's Vaughn here at your jazzdrumschool.com YouTube channel. Aloha, hope you're doing well. So in this video, I want to share with you a few of the different kinds of drumsticks that I use when I play. So I've got varying brands here, uh, and I've got different kinds of tips as well. Uh, I've tried all the different tips uh, out there. This isn't. This certainly isn't all of them, but uh, it's a, a representing a few of them. Uh, and I've got different brands from uh, Thomas Sticks, uh, and I'll talk about each of them in a minute. Uh, to Vic Firth, and then I've got some down here that you probably don't even recognize. So I'm going to talk about all of these sticks and kind of give you some insight into uh, what I use and why I use it. So first off, let's go ahead and take them uh, one stick at a time, and let's just whack the ride cymbal and see what each of those sticks sounds like. All right, so the first stick is uh, a Tama Original uh, series, and I picked this up here in Japan. All right, let's move on. Next one. Uh, these are the uh, Joe Procaro 5A diamond tips uh, sticks, uh, and uh, you can see they're a little weathered. I've used them a lot. Let's hear how these sound. Big difference, yeah? All right, next one. This is the Vic Firth American Classic 7A. Let's hear it. Really different sound, yeah? All of them have a different, unique sound to them. Now the last stick I want to share with you is one that I made. It was for my wedding party a number of years ago as a kind of as a, as a wedding gift. These have been actually surprisingly pretty good and I end up reaching for these most of the time. They're just a standard uh, 7A is all they are. Uh, if you're out there looking for drumsticks, uh, the first thing I would do is play them on your ride cymbal. So get whatever sticks you want. I'll put the links to uh, as many of these as I can below in the description, uh, and you can go check those out. Uh, but I would encourage you to pick out sticks that really sound good with the cymbals that you play. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and play for you with each of these different models, and you can kind of hear how each of these different sticks responds to the cymbals and the drums. All right, check it out. One, two.
So pretty cool stuff, yeah. And what's really interesting to me is the difference in stick definition. So you've got this kind of longer arrow tip uh, on the, uh, the, the the Tama stick, uh, and that just kind of like almost like spreads out the sound, right? It's like a lo longer surface area to, to strike the cymbal, as opposed to this diamond tip, which is really compact and kind of consolidates the sound in a way. Uh, lots, lots of stick definition with the Joe Pacaro models, right? And sometimes I will try different sticks on my cymbals and they just don't sound good. And it's, you know, no fault of the stick. It's just that it's not the right design for the sound of your cymbal. So, you know, keep, keep, you know, looking, keep exploring and finding uh, sticks that, that work for you. Sticks are not very expensive, so we can try lots of different sticks until we find the right ones. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and uh, be sure to like the video if you like it. That helps to get around YouTube a little easier. Drop a comment. Let me know if this video was helpful and also let me know what kind of sticks you like to use on your kit. Uh, please also consider becoming a member of my YouTube channel. It's a great way for you to support the channel and also get access to lots of other drum lesson content that'll help supercharge your jazz drumming. Keep swinging, my friend.